Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to do closed transfers on the uh, SS Brewtech Conical Fermenter. Um, this is the main reason I got this fermenter is so that I could do these closed transfers. And basically, what a closed transfer is is um, you're limiting the oxygen exposure to almost minimal. Um, obviously, there's going to be some at some places, but um, this is as close to you're going to get that uh, actual brewers do it in. Obviously, they have a little more advanced uh, systems than I do, but um, this will work. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this. Uh, the setup, um, I am transferring a beer I'm doing for Christmas. Uh, there's a video on that if you're interested. Um, but this video will be strictly just the transfer. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you need to know where to get any of the extra parts, let me know. Um, and I can answer below in the comments. So let me show you the setup. All right, guys. So what you need for this setup, you need a CO2 tank. Regulator, you're going to need this fitting right here. Um, this is just the TC clamps. Um, what it is is basically on this side you have the uh, half inch, uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, 5 16 which is the diameter of the CO2, and this side you have the half inch. Um, the reason you need that again is because this right here is a half inch. They don't make a um, 3 inch TC fitting um, through SS Brewtech that'll uh, fit your CO2 line. So you'll need that. Obviously, make sure you have these clamps. Um, down here, what you need, you're going to need this TC fitting right here. Um, that one is the 3 8 uh, diameter that you use for your beer line. And you're going to run that right into the top of your keg. So what you'll basically do, pressurize the beer here. It'll come out the racking port will go in the beer out down the dip tube and one thing you want to make sure you're doing is making sure the relief valve is up so you just turn it up and pull up and twist and your relief valve will stay up. The reason you need to do that is just to let the uh, pressure go if you don't have that uh, valve pulled you're going to get uh, pressure build up inside the keg and then you won't have any more flow so you definitely want to make sure that's uh, up. Another thing you can do is run a line off of the uh, CO2 in port, you could run that into, uh, you can run it into a thing of star saying, you could really run it into anything, so you would just run that out into something else. Um, the reason you see a post here is this is actually a carbonation cap, so that's the reason you see that. So let's do the transfer and I'll show you how it looks. I'm just going to set this to about 2 psi. Alright, I'm going to open up the valve going to pressurize this. What I'm going to do is just purge the headspace. Just pull this relief valve. Alright. So now what you'll do, just going to open this valve up. And there we go, we have beer running. So I'm going to open that valve all the way. You can see the beer is running straight in right there. And any residual pressure will come out right here. So what I did is I purged this keg beforehand, so this keg is full of CO2. There's no oxygen in that keg, so anything the beer is touching is pure ox is pure carbon dioxide. So ideally, what we're doing is preventing any type of oxidation. So we'll just run this out until there is uh, nothing left. So, and that is it. That is the closed transfer. So let me finish this and uh, wrap it up. Okay, so uh, we just finished the closed transfer and uh, everything came out pretty well. A um, few things that uh, I'll note for you guys just to help you in the future, um, if you ever do this, have a way to tell when the keg's full. If you have anything over five gallons and all you have is a five gallon corny keg, you're going to overfill it. Um, I, I was a little worried that I was going to overfill, luckily I didn't. But um, two ways you can do that is either weigh what a full corny keg weighs um, prior to doing your transfer and put it on a scale while it's filling. Um, that's one way, or you can see if they're, they have these um, little ball things you stick inside the keg. It's basically a magnet, and then you'll see the ball level rise. So that's two ways to do it. Um, obviously, you don't want to have your keg overflow or not have any headspace at all for the CO2. So um, keep that in mind. But um, all in all, it was pretty good. It worked exactly how I thought it would. There was really... Um, no flaws to it. Uh, sanitation was easy. Everything was pretty easy. Um, I will say it, it is not a time saver. It took about 15 minutes to fully transfer. Um, if you turn the PSI up on your CO2 any higher than 2, 2 PSI, the um, pressure relief valve uh, opens up. So 
It is definitely not a time saver, but it definitely will help uh, prevent any oxidation issues if that's a current problem you're having. So, um, all in all, it was exactly what I thought it would be. Uh, I'm planning on doing this for the rest of my time brewing. Um, it was great. So, uh, any questions, let me know. Um, comment below, and uh, I'll answer any questions you may have. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know. Um, as far as any other tricks with the SS Brew Tech, that's about all I got right now. So if there's anything you want to see, I might be able to look it up and do it myself. So let me know. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, check out some other videos. Uh, if you want to see the video the with the beer that was in the fermenter, check out the uh, Christmas uh, video I'll have up about the uh, gingerbread stout. So other than that, cheers.